you're hosting special dinner guests. Well, you'll want to know the five essential ingredients for that kind of dinner party and stick around for the fifth one because it will surprise you. Do you break into a sweat with even the thought of having company? I'm here to help. After trying just a few of my hosting tips, you'll be more than ready to say, come on over. Number one, have a simple item ready for your guests when they first arrive. This would be pre-dinner. Now, technically that would be called an appetizer, but it doesn't have to be food. For instance, if you have a killer martini, now is the time to serve that. That is a liquid appetizer and people love to carry these around and sip, 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 and it will keep them occupied before dinner. But if you're not a martini drinker or a martini maker, you could also have just a straight up olive cheese and cracker dish. We do this all the time. We almost always have these items on hand. We just throw it together, put it on the bar and let them have at it. It holds the hunger at bay. But let's say you don't have all these cheese and crackers. You might have some chocolate and why not serve a dessert item-ish early I just used some chocolate I had in the cabinet. This will keep them occupied while you finish up in the kitchen. Number two, place your serving bowls and platters on your table before you need them. What happens is this creates the look of bounty, but it also gives you a really good idea how many bowls and platters you will need for your meal and where they should go around your glassware and everything else you have on the table. That way you're not fighting with them in, the, in your cabinets like I sometimes am. You're making all this noise trying to get out a platter. It's already here. This makes you look prepared. And who doesn't want to be prepared when you're having special company? It also helps you see your spacing and you just pick them up, take them to the stovetop or your oven, fill them and put them right back. That is special. Well, isn't that special? Number three, place your centerpiece dead center. Now it doesn't have to be big and it certainly should not be tall. People want to be able to talk back and forth, but it should be interesting. Like the Telly Award that my publicist placed here without telling me. It is fun and it is interesting and the flowers around it just kind of help elevate it. It will certainly be a conversation piece. Number four, elevate your table with candle decor. Now is the time to use those really special brass candlesticks your grandmother left you in her will. I mean, why not? Perfect timing. Also, use dripless, odorless candles on your table. You don't want the scent of gardenias or vanilla cookies wafting across your beautiful food. And for really kicking up the space, place tea lights in little tea light holders right in front of every place setting. Not only do people feel special with their own candle, it elevates the lower part of the table and shows off the brass, the flowers, and all the food that is here. Let's not just sit here with our tummies rumbling. Everybody dig in. Don't mind if I do, Lillian. And number five, this is the most important tip, but it's also the tip most people doubt. If you're having special guests and you want to impress them, do not make for the first time some crazy recipe you found in Southern Living that just was gonna blow their mind. Don't do that. Make something that is your specialty. If your specialty is a really great meatloaf, make that. If it's an incredible lasagna, make that. If it's spaghetti with homemade meatballs, make that. That is what's most impressive to your guests. There's a reason people request those meals when you ask them, what would you like? And they say, oh, I love your lasagna. Believe that and make that for your special guests. Not only are you more comfortable as a cook making that, it makes you more relaxed for the whole party and it gives you more time to do all of this. Because if you've made that dinner before, you are so much better prepared. Be prepared. This lesson must be shared. This lesson must be shared. Be prepared. So those are your five tips to elevate a special evening. And you'll know you succeed when people say, oh, this is an evening I will always remember. Okay, 
I'm grinning like an idiot. Number one, stop yawning. You're gonna make me yawn. We just throw this together and it, <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> Wards off hunger. We just throw this together. <laughs> Everybody has their own individual, this will not light. Come on over. Now go make someone feel special today.